So remember in my last video when I said this? Anytime a portal is, like a portal or wormhole is mentioned, I immediately go to the ending of Baldur's Gate. Well, the ending of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. One of my favorite games. I wish I could do a playthrough of that on here. Well, the video game gods decided to grant me a Christmas miracle. You guys, look what I found. I did not know this game was going to be on PC at all. I literally found this out yesterday. My brother was telling me about it. He's like, hey, did you see Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance drop for PC? I'm like, no, go on. <laughs> so as soon as I was able to, I immediately snatched it up. This is my, I don't know if it's my favorite game, but it is definitely up there. This is one of the first, I believe this actually might be the first game I ever played on a PlayStation 2. Because we rented one from a family video, and this was one of the games that we got um, when we rented it. So this is, I believe, the first game I ever played on a PlayStation 2. So it sits very near and dear to my heart, and it is an amazing game even for PlayStation 2 times. This game is based off of Dungeons & Dragons. It is literally a Dungeons & Dragons video game. And it's great. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Now, I always play as the Dwarven Fighter, because he's a lot more tanky, and has some really fun skills that you get to mess around with later on in the game. But I mostly like the tank part because I don't know how to stay out of battle. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of one of those, you know, rush headlong into things and, you know, just don't care about everything else that's going on around me. So I need the extra um, health and stuff, health and armor. I'm going to do one thing before we... Uh, um, I'm going to turn the dialogue and subtitles on, so... So yeah, let's get going. I love this game. I love it so much. You are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. So what was the point of me turning on the subtitles if they're not going to show them in the cutscenes? Oh, well, I stay corrected. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Not the city watch. The watch. The one I have on my wrist. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Or they grow balder. <laughs> Like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. <laughs> yeah, it is. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. Yeah, I think we established that. Off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, 
You come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. I wonder how long she's been here. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Disappearance. Just dawned on me I could be reading the uh, dialogue. So, this new guild's at war with the old guild. Blades with those thugs if I were you. Just stay clear of them unless you want to end up dead in an alley, alright? I don't have much choice. They stole every last coin I had. If you know where I can find them, tell me. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a Yu-Gi-Oh flashback. Tell me! <laughs> well, no one knows where their guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Yay, rats! Honestly, I like rats. Rats are cute. Well, there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Could I use the gate? Well, there's a problem with that. Actually... Maybe we can help each other out. Go on. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? Bitch and how we do. The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. Which is hilarious when we find out some details here in a minute. Only this past week. If those thieves are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate, they may have driven the rats out. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. Me too. Talk to Ethan. Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? Well, Ayla said you got the key. Hand it over. I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? I would just like to point out here for a second that they're being incredibly lax about security. I'm like, oh, I want to go find these thieves. Oh, they might be using the sewers. Here, have this gate to our cellar. Have this gate to our cellar. Have this key to our cellar. <laughs> I did five and a half years of security for a living. This does not sit well with me. Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? And you know this how? I overheard your conversation with Aleth. Look, friend. You've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Look, buddy. I'm gonna go find him and get my shit back. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. Sorebadokana. The smallest ones the length of my arm. Huge rats, and they're swarming all over the place down there. Vicious little monsters. Each one could kill a man. Easy. They showed up about a week ago. 
If those thieves that attacked you are using the sewers to move around, then they probably drove the rats out of the sewers. Almost verbatim what Aelith just told me. Only this past week, if those thieves are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate, they may have driven the rats out. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long. Or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. Thank you. All right, and the dagger's already equipped, so just walk through the door. Get on the floor. No. Save it. And yes, I'm going to overwrite that game. Uh... <laughs> I actually already tried recording this level, but OBS didn't like me. I asked it to record the window of the game, and instead it just recorded the Steam window um, in my library that showed Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. <laughs> so I have no footage from the first uh, from the first attempt at this level. So thankfully, this isn't a hard episode or hard level. My God. Oh yeah, I can turn the camera, I forgot about that. Give me all of your monies. <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay. Swing and a miss. Ah, short sword, okay. Oh, I've already got 40 arrows. Um, I don't ever actually use the arrows in this game. Um, especially not with... Uh, Especially not with Cromlick. As you saw in the character selection screen, um, there is a human archer character that you can play. I've tried playing him before. I'm not good with him. Um, my brother was when we used to do this um, in uh, two-player campaigns on the PlayStation 2 when we were kids. Um, my brother would always uh, take the human archer and I would take the dwarven fighter. Neither of us ever played the elven sorceress, but to be fair, she's a very hard character to play. I'm again playing through her on the switch because um, i also have this on the switch because my playstation 2 is crapping out and i needed something a little more stable to play this on yes i still have a playstation 2 but yeah no the elven sorceress is a very hard character to play you need to be pretty skilled at this game in order to in order to wield her properly because she's she is very much a glass cannon, uh, if any of you are familiar with that terminology. She can deal a hell of a lot of damage if you're using her right, but she is squishy as hell. Does not take damage very well. You have to stay out of combat with her, like even more so than the archer. It feels good getting to impart my knowledge on this game to the, uh, to the younger generation. Not that anybody from the younger generation is going to be watching this. Or maybe they will, I don't know. I might be pleasantly surprised. I do think it's hilarious, and I'll have already made mention of it in in the intro to this video, but I do find it hilarious that literally in my last episode of Battlezone 2, um, I made reference to this game, like, I wish I could do a playthrough of it, and then lo and behold, you know, not a month later, because I recorded that quite a bit ago, just never got around to editing it, but... But yeah, not even a month after I make that statement, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance drops on PC, and I can do a playthrough of the game. As I said, the Christmas gods granted me a miracle. And I can actually literally say Christmas, because it is probably roughly 3 in the morning on Christmas Day, um, 2021, when I am recording this. So, for those of you who do celebrate, Merry Christmas, as I slaughter rats. <laughs> But uh, for those of you who don't celebrate, uh, happy holidays, joyous festivus, uh, have a good day. Uh, <laughs> I hope your I hope your holidays are full of full of love and uh, friendship and camaraderie, or at least safe. I hope your holidays are at least safe if you don't have anybody to um, celebrate with. Oh, hey, we did it. I don't believe I've collected the recall potion yet. I believe that was in one of the barrels in another room I might have missed. Ah, the shield. Yeah, I totally could use that for the rats. Let's save it real quick. 
throw the shield on. I mean, even if I did pick up the recall potion, I'm going to just walk back to the tavern because there's no point in using the recall potion. It's it's a waste at this point, or at this uh, juncture of the game. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Gonna go stand behind the bar. <laughs> did you see down there? Uh, no, sure didn't. He, he followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Yeah, he good. Thank you. Uh, but before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. So I am just going to point out, um, I used to be a cashier at a grocery store. That was actually my first job. If anybody pulled money out from their cleavage, I would not want to accept that because it gets it gets sweaty down there. It's you know, it's it's not it's not especially on a hot summer day. Um, like usually got in Illinois, um, where I'm originally from. Yeah, you don't want that. It's disgusting. And we just leveled up. So, as I said earlier, this is based off of Dungeons & Dragons. So, we have a various amount of skills that um, each class has access to. The vast majority of them are, uh, or at least on the top part of the list, the vast majority of them are um, cross-class. Um, uh, well, not Bull Rush. Bull Rush is specific to Cromlech, but Dodge, Endurance, Toughness, Willpower, Meditation. Um, as you can see, I already have a dot in Intestinal Fortitude. That is something that I get base as a stat for being a dwarf. Um, or it's either being a dwarf or being a fighter. I don't know which one, but um, this particular character gets a dot in intestinal fortitude right off the bat which is very helpful because that increases my um, health regeneration um, throughout the game um, so i'm gonna go with toughness to give myself um, a few extra hit points it's not much but it helps a little bit um, so we're gonna do that and that completes the first level of Baldur's gate dark alliance we have just cleared out the sewers i did it again we've just cleared out the cellar of the rats <laughs> And now we're going to go into the sewers to go find Ethan because he was an idiot and ran after us for whatever reason. Also, I just now noticed this. I can see sunlight coming in through the windows. That That is, that is supposed to be sunlight coming in through the windows. Or at least I think it is. It was dark out when we got in here. It was nighttime. Where is this light coming from? Regardless, that's going to do it for this episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.